Hello friend, and welcome to the Slow Sim Driving channel on YouTube, where today we start the first episode of our Radical Challenge. These are going to be endurance races, and uh, this was originally Daffra's idea, I've expanded on it, these are the Radical Racers. The colour upgrades for this particular race are uh, Escuri and Player, both have customizable LSDs. The David Wilson Classic Cars car and the ILTR car, both have sports and coolers. Tim Kevman got a high RPM turbocharger, Mackie Motorsport got a racing clutch and flywheel. SSBB got a low RPM turbocharger. Wooden Bash has got a racing silencer, Racing Rivals got a semi-racing silencer. Dark Knight got a racing intercooler, Apex Racing took Nitrous. It was SL who got the bonus pick they had engine balance tuning and fully customizable computer we've had pre-qualifying and the slowest cars have only entered a single car while the fastest ones have two cars it's a reverse grid as I say it's an endurance race and not a sprint slowest cars at the front fastest cars at the back should be very interesting I'm starting dead last it's gonna be a one hour race in real terms but we've got times 24 on the um, acceleration high fuel high tire wear who knows what could happen I'm about to find out you see there the AI cars practice him let's get into the race I'm not going to play around with the car settings too much to begin with Wait to see how the uh, wow well, that slipstream was useful. We'll wait to see how the race progresses. Oh, the, uh, the team grandpa teammate there, give me some hassle. The back end of these cars get very very light uh, when you're breaking into corners. You have to be very very gentle going down from high speeds. Yeah, we're coming up behind the uh, behind the Sim League Pro cars, which are very quick. Uh, they took a lot of catching in pre-qualifying. Looks like they're stuck behind the racing rivals cars at the moment. It's okay, we're not going to take any necessary risks. For now. Hey teammate, how you doing? Let's see if we can get a bit of a draft and a slingshot, perhaps clear the first of those Simley Pro cars. Oh brilliant, that's, that's what we need. Thank you very much teammate. You see there in front of us one of the Simley Pro cars going for it. We have passed one of the Racing Rivals cars gently into this braking zone, really, really gently. Here we go. Up into 17th, that was a pretty good start. Oh, we've got far more acceleration than that car, but it seems to have better road holding. Uh, some of these cars, uh, like mine, have racing hards, and some of them I've given racing mediums just to mix things up. Uh, generally, the the teams which had the, the crappier random upgrades uh, started this season on mediums. Try and balance things out a little bit. Somebody's very slow through there. Nearly stuffed that Apex car in the back. Uh, since it's just me racing, I didn't put damage on. Anything that goes horribly wrong is going to mess my race anyway. We're doing great. For the, uh, for the start, we've got lots of fuel. Though I'm being very gentle with the throttle. Let the fuel last as long as possible. And here we go. Can we go around this side of this one now? I think I, I can't really hear the... Um, I can't hear the Apex cars over my own engine, so... I don't know when they're deploying nitrous. I don't even know if the AI does deploy nitrous, but I know that the Apex car was quite fast in pre-qualifying, so it must do. Catch up to that Dark Knight car on the straight. The AI does seem to be very tentative through this final corner. And that is somewhere that we can make a lot of spaces, I think. During the race... Here we go. The slipstream. Looking for the next slipstream. Oh yeah. Have I just made myself get boxed into a, a corner? I think I have. <laughs> that was a silly move. I wanted to slip, but unfortunately that... Uh, whoa! 
That left me with nowhere to go. Be gentle with those brakes. Uh, I tried playing around the brake balance, doing pre qualifying, couldn't really find anything that would correct the drift on that particular corner. So I'm just going to put up with it for the race and, uh, and hope for the best. I think. Yeah. I like to race car in front of us there. Uh, I think this is a great chance, this race, to shout out to some sponsors. So, wow, look at the Apex target around the outside there with the, uh, the nitrous. That's awesome. So, I like to race.com. Uh, I've been partnered with us for a little while now. Uh, that's a social media network for Patrolheads and Sim Racers. Check it out. I like to race.com. Uh, it's like Facebook without the Karens. Okay, guess I was up to 12th. Making good progress. Oh, but the AI far more. Whoa! I say confident in this corner. You see there, I just had to correct the back end going out, and that was it. We were off. So everything to do again, right down to last place. But that's how this race is going to be, is it? Okay. Okay then. So, the racing rubbles car there. We know it wasn't particularly quick. We got past that one quite easily. Shouldn't put it too much of a fight on the straight. Oh, everything's getting a bit, uh, a bit sketchy here. Go around the outside of this car park if we could. The AI, of course, turned up to full for this. Put as much of a challenge as possible. I can't see where I'm going. There is a car to our side. We'll stay to the left. It's a Mackie Motorsport car. Great looking car. Thank you very much, Mackie. Thank you to everybody here in the community who has done liveries for this event. Uh, of course, it's going to be an ongoing thing, so if you want to make other themes, who knows, maybe it's your livery that's going to come through the pack with the best upgrades. My car isn't being upgraded. Uh, I won't be getting any upgrades until I simply can't compete at all. I expect to see Team Grandpa getting uh, further and further to the back of the field as this series progresses. Speaking of Team Grandpa, my teammate doing a stellar job. Uh, the initial upgrades I put on to make it to uh, 625 PP really, uh, really worked well. So there's the, uh, the Button Bashers car up ahead in 12th. Uh, Button Bashers our channel sponsor. You can check them out in the description down below for, uh, for video games and computers. We're not talking computer computers, we're talking custom built gaming computers. Retro consoles, controllers, all sorts. Just, just check them out in the link below and uh, that'd be great. Meanwhile, I'm stuck behind the Racing Rivals car. Uh, if you want to come and join the Racing Rivals Discord to get involved with the racing that we do, that link's down below as well. we be stuck here. Oh, I'm not stuck here. It's a Racing Rivals car. Very slow through there. Drop a gear there, try and give us some more acceleration. We're being muscled out there by the ILTO car. That's okay, we can come back. Look at all that slipstream. Can we get past the Oscuri car? Uh, based on a livery that was made for me by Tweetman. For uh, quite some time ago now, actually. Getting one of the regulars that you'll see on our videos elsewhere. If you're new to the channel, have a look at those videos. We do all kinds of crazy stuff as a community. There we go. Caught our teammate back up. How are we doing, teammate? Gently, gently does it. Oh, we're a second faster on this lap, so that, uh, that early slipstream really did help us out. Here around the outside. Up with the uh, up with the player car there, in sixth. There's an excellent platform for uh, combining your gaming library on PC. It really is PC gaming made easier. Somebody else who's linked down below, they're, uh, they don't run the partner program anymore, but 
I still like the product, I'm still going to push it. Oh, speak of pushing it, big impact there from the player car behind us. Wow. Okay. A little bit mean. A little bit mean. Tire's not going off. I'm going to try and do a little bit of fuel saving. Uh, I'm going to stay in fuel, mo fuel map one, but I am going to just go easy on the car, I think. Here we go. Oh, we've got a great line through there. Really help us to catch back up. Drop a gear to give us some more acceleration out of this corner, but I've got a little bit wide. That's okay. When you go for that uh, that draft, you want a nice run up. You get a good overspeed. Nothing to gain by sitting right under your uh, your opponent's rear wing. Look at this, we're breezing past. Excellent. Catching back up to the uh, the player car there, which has dropped to seventh. One of the button bashers cars there in the lead. Team Kevman second. Uh, David Wilson Classic cars in third. See if we can uh, make inroads towards those. Ooh. Car getting a little bit a uh, little bit more eager now that if the fuel's burning off, you can see they're in purple again. The weight of the fuel really does have a massive effect on the uh, on the radical. Those cones, anyway. Okay, can we pass the uh, the player card this time without getting shunted? Is the question. Just have the pace. Oh, let's just breeze past everybody. Because we've got a 12 second gap to make up to the leaders. I've got a teammate. Got a teammate by the way. Oh, and again with the shunting. Because I'm being so gentle with the brakes in that first corner. Oh no. Uh, I'm being so gentle with the brakes in that first corner. The AI is just throwing the cars in. Oh, it's all to do again. Goodness me, I've got to rethink my strategy in that first corner. Because that's that's not going to help, that's not going to get us to the end of the race uh, in the top spot, which is where we want to be. The Apex cars, I think we're going to see drop right to the back now, because they're only real upgrade is nitrous and by the pace they had at the start of the race I'm guessing they've used it all or at least they've they've used enough to get to the point that they're now conserving it I don't know if there's a, a certain amount they use during the race if you know how the nitrous works on uh, on AI then please let me know in the comments that would be great and also uh with regards to upgrades, let me know which team you think deserves the bonus upgrade down in the comments because that will give us uh, oh, come from there. That, that'll be much better than just picking them randomly. If a team can have uh, a bit of a fan base, what do you base it on? How fast the team currently is? Who needs the most help? Which livery you like the best? Oops. Very, very twitchy, this car. I find myself just dragging the brake a little bit, just trying to keep it under control. Here we go, back up to this very slow pack. Let's see if we can just squirt our way past them on the main straight. Shouldn't be an issue. The AI is so slow in that corner. You just don't carry any speed through onto the straight. If you look at the, the track map in the top corner, you can see that there's actually quite a few cars spread out. I'm not quite sure where that one car that's just gone to the main straight is. I think it's in last place. So someone's having a really, really bad day. But my just car there, very slow through that corner. Very slow. We can get around the outside. Gives us the inside for the next corner through the S's. Then we need to be right in front of the next corner because that would put us on the outside which is where we didn't want to be back up with the player car which has dropped to ninth a uh, bit of a block all perfectly cricket not a problem and here we go back on the loud pedal get some draft if 
We good? Thank you very much. That was good. That's a good little tug. We just get our teammate slipstream. I think we can. There you go. Move right up to the right hand side now. <laughs> when I'm doing the uh, the early braking to that corner, and that does allow us to not get murdered. Dark Knight car up ahead, designed by Kevman. You can see Kevman Designs uh, logo in the bottom right of the car. Very nice looking car. I think it was one of the most popular ones in uh, in Discord when I showed them off. Just squeeze up the inside. I don't think we can. It's a little bit tricky. Just put us to the outside for this corner, which is not really where I want to be. I hope I had a teammate there, making us some, uh, some space by brute force. drag us up nicely to the uh, fourth place SSBB car there. You can see it's just pulling away from us. That car has a lot of horses compared to us. Really have to work. Catch up. Whoa. Oh, sliding around all over the place. I can not want him to stay with me, but it is still with me. So the, the button basher's car is in first place. Oops, sorry about that, uh, SSBB car. The button basher's car in first place has just checked out. It's a long race. Uh, there's a lot of time to catch up with it. I don't know what sort of fuel strategy everybody else is on. I know that I'm, I'm in fuel map one, so I've probably got to hit before everybody else does. Okay, let's get some draft from David Wilson car. That's a um, that's a car that just uses one of the sponsor names from Gran Turismo's own library. Oh, look at the legs on the Team Cabman car. Okay, that's going to be uh, a little tricky to get past. Can we do it in the corner? A little quick. Around the outside, we can just see the button basher's car in the distance. It's a long way off. But just under half our fuel left after 15 minutes racing gone, so might be able to one stop this, even in engine mode one. We will see. Actually, purple at the moment, that's because the car is just so light. Now that the fuel's burnt off. I'm, I think this is the first time I've really felt that difference in handling from the fuel burning off in a Gran Turismo game. Obviously, you know, you get the, the feeling of the acceleration and the braking being better, but the car just feels lighter. I guess that's nice for agility, but it's going to be a bit of an issue, perhaps, when we get towards the uh, the end of the race, rather the end of the fuel. Yeah, maybe the car will be too light, I don't know. We're just rambling. We're going to lap somebody. So, yeah, someone's having a really, really bad day out there. One of the upgrades and really, really uh, not working with somebody. Find out who that is, if we can catch up to them. And we take the lead. Looks like the Mackie Motorsport car that's uh, just struggling out there. Okay, this is where it's going to get really, really tricky now. There's a long way down, I wonder why. Really bizarre. Let's hope that's a team that, uh, that can pull up its socks for the next race. Without the draft club, the button bashes car really is leaving us behind. A little bit more of that, uh, that drifting action going on. No bonus points for that. There's no points for uh, anything really. Just for honour. Wooden Mash's car, very, very good through there, but we know that the AI struggles in this very last corner. Can we do anything with that? We can't. In fact, he's pulling away from us on the corner. So that's interesting, but we've got the toe. This should, in theory, be a done deal. Theory, step out of the slipstream. The radar. He's gonna have us. He is. Oh! I was very, very nearly a radical in the gravel and not mine for a change. 
We have that David Wilson car behind as well. He's about to uh, be a menace. Now this goes to the advantage of, of setting all your cars up individually. Uh, you do get a real challenge, and you get a uh, you get a good field spread. Of course, the AI as well does have its own certain skill, uh, which is randomised. So that's going to allow the teams to have good days and bad days. One of David Wilson cars and, uh, and one of the Button Bashers cars are having a good day at the moment. In fact, check that out, Button Bash is currently having the fastest lap. Well, that's not on. Okay. As I said before, it's a long race, we need to just get our head down. Not panic too much. Oh, that car out very wide there. That's uh, that's put us right on his tail. It's coming nice and wide. Don't do anything with that. Okay. Just a, a matter of time, surely. I'm going to the inside, defending, but that is a job well done. Squirt the loud pedal. Onto the main straight. Here we go. I've uh, got a car in the pits. One of the uh, low down cars. I'll give these cars free rein of tyres. It, it looked to me then like uh, one of the cars had opted for its comfort tyres rather than the, uh, the racing tyres I've given it. So. Strange setup, but okay. It's a pity you can't, uh, in the AI custom races, specify that you only want racing tyres, but you know, it is what it is. Just to see car pitting already, so somebody's been pushing. Oops, wasn't paying attention there. Should have been. Now it is checking your, uh, your volume levels and such like on your microphone, making sure everything's okay with the camera. Before you know it, you're bouncing across the grass. Focus a little bit more because that's lost us the lead. We're also coming up on, on two back markers who are fighting. So we're going to have to be careful around them. Uh, my teammate, they're popping into the pits. They seem to be doing quite well for fuel. I don't know if, uh, well, I guess they, there must be some sort of random way of fuel saving. Some sort of mathematical way that the game calculates the fuel. Is there the fuel, the, um, let's try it again. Is the, the sun getting quite low? Going to be getting dark soon. I don't want to be racing, per se, in the dark. I'd like to be just hot lapping. That's our opponent into the pits, clearing us the way forward. That's interesting news as well, because that's uh, just under halfway. So that wooden bashers car is either going to have to really fuel save in its next stint, or it's going to have to stop again. I'm trying to make it to the halfway stage so that I can hopefully run to the end on a one-stopper. Obviously, if it rains, that all goes out the window, but... But now, the sky looks clear. And that looks nice. Here we go. Hopefully, uh, we'll have the fairground running tonight. When the, when the sun's gone down, that always looks good. Apex car there in 10th, just going into the pits. Not quite our pit window yet. How about the David Wilson car? That's just dived into the pits as well. So we're running longest. Alrighty. Fuel. 2.7 laps remaining. Okay, let's try to eke that out. That is not going to work. That is not going to get us all the way to the end. Um, okay. I'm going to have to run in a different engine mode for my second stint. Which is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. 
but we will do what we can do. I think engine mode 2 will suffice. I don't know if that will make us as make us fast enough to keep up with the Budmasher's car, but uh, we've, seen, we've seen already that the Budmasher's car probably has to stop again. I think that to save time... Whoa! I was looking at the, the fuel readout. Uh, to save time, I'm probably not going to change tyres. I'm going to stop looking at things, just focus on the road. Obviously, when you're endurance racing, you have to do the maths. And I was just away with the theories, doing the maths. And you know how that works out. It works out in the gravel. Go nice and leisurely into this last corner. Try and save those tyres for a second stint. Is that behind us? An Apex car? No, it's the uh, Simlink Pro car. Must be hassling us a little bit. You know what, I think I will change the tyres, because the rear left is just starting to go off, and it's a long way to go in this race. Let him go. I'm not going to fight with a car trying to unlap itself. Oh! There's a bit of heavy braking there from the SLP car. Caught me out. Here we go, then. Old tyres off. New tyres on. Fill it up. Let's go to the end. Uh, perhaps in engine mode two, because we are two minutes over budget with our fuel. That's not what we want. This takes a long time to refuel. Of course, in the latest uh, update for GT7, you can up the refuel speed if you want to. I didn't want to. This, I want to make it more tactical than that. Okay, here we go, into the night. Room up two. Headlights are on. This is where it gets spooky. The grandstands are empty. Whoa, everybody's gone home for the evening. I was hoping the third ground was going to be lit up, but it's not. That's a shame. That would have been a really nice touch if they'd done that. I hope that's something they do in a, a future update. Running long didn't help us all that much. But as I said before, I think the button mesh's car has to stop again. Oh, we've got all kinds of stuff going on here. This is uh, proper endurance racing now. You don't know what position anybody's in. But this is the second place David Wilson car getting held up uh, by the 18th place Team Kevman car, I think. Just squeeze past. We can indeed. Didn't really give us any kind of slipstream advantage. A slipstream here from the, uh, the Apex car, we can. Just gonna back off a little bit. Save the fuel, save the tyres. Oh, go around the outside if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay, onward into the S's. Again, don't take too much out of the tyres too soon. Oh, the racing rivals car, they're stuck behind somebody. Oh, the blue flag's not helping. We take advantage. <gasps> Little bit out wide there. Thank you, SSB, for helping us out. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sky looks nice. Uh, not too many clouds up there. Lots of stars. I dare say, this could be a nice smooth run to the end. So, way Famous last words. Bought a little bit of curb there. Ah. Uh, or am I crashing just for dramatic effect? No, I've got a little plug curb there. That was on me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got to that all to do again. Oh, the button bashers cars dropped to second, so something's happened there. Something's gone wrong. Oh, come on, the flags. There we 
go. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, it's going to be a straight race with these guys in front of us now. There's no back markers holding anybody up. Back markers dropping quite a way down, so... Points of track map, we've got a clear track ahead of us after first and second. Wow, the car again. Heavy, I think the fuel tank must be right at the back because on a full, full of fuel like that, it's just an absolute nightmare. Don't worry about that right now. We have two quick cars up ahead. Light them up with our headlights. They're on the outside. No, not quite. They're on the outside here. No, not quite. <laughs> not quite enough room. Uh, okay, there's nowhere outside there except for collecting cones to put them away. That is not my job. Great speed there onto the uh, the straight. Oh, bumped into us. Thank you for uh, not noticing that I existed. The brake a little bit later than usual there, just to make sure I didn't get uh, punted. Unfortunately, that did uh, make things go a little bit squirrely. Check out the track. Now I've been racing for a while, there's uh, a lot of rubber laid down. Hopefully that's going to help us with our grip. Some thick clouds in the sky there, but nothing on the weather radar to indicate any kind of problem, so that's good. Just keep on pushing. seconds behind him. Don't you dare punt me. They try and come back at us. Oh my goodness he is. He's hit us and then hit us again. Oh. Thank you very much teammate. That's much appreciated. Never to waste fuel oh, I'm trying to overtake again I'm trying to build that gap up again you are the worst teammate ever literally to be driving for Red Bull here we go would Mesh's car make it through we'll check in just a sec no it didn't We've got a little gap there to uh, sec Oh, he's hitting. So the button dashes car is going to be able to absolutely burn rubber to the end of the race. He won't be able to. My teammate will just get lost. Okay, but I am down in uh, fuel mix four. Just to make sure the car makes it to the end of the race without having to pit again. I think the time we lose racing isn't going to be as high as the time we're going to lose in the pits. So we're going to just keep up this pace. Try to uh, get away from our teammate there with a few extra revs, I think. On the safe side. Our nearest rival now is David Wilson, six and a half seconds away. Brilliant. Whey, here we go. That was foolish. Oh, David Wilson in the pits, so... Uh... Oh, this is busy. This is really busy. I don't want to get involved in that at all. You can all go off and do your own thing. I'm not interested. I don't want to play. Oh, Dark Knight car there. Whipping around me and then going very, very slowly. That's, uh... That's very typical of what happens to me on the road. But there you go. Around the outside. No, we can't. In the engine mode, we simply lack the horses to do that. But that's okay, we've got, uh, got a good gap second. And in theory, all we have to do now is just bring it home. In theory. Okay, I have some bad news and I have some worse news. Uh, from what I can tell, 
Oh, that's rude. Uh, as you can see, I'm being absolutely mauled right now. Uh, from what I can tell, I don't have enough fuel to get to the end of the race. That's what I've calculated. That I've just not been saving enough. I've been racing too much, using too many high revs. So I've gone right down into fuel mode 6. This is a 10 minute timer now for second place button bashes to catch me. Oh no! Oh, that's, uh, that's a wheel issue there. And because I'm recording this, I've got my controller in my lap and it just slipped out of my lap. As I caught it, well, the, the controller took over, shall we say. Uh, that's something that I wish they wouldn't have in uh, in GT Sport. It literally cuts off the wheel as soon as anything happens to the controller. So that is an issue. For me, anyway. Well, actually, it's not a big issue on the scale of things uh, for the wider sim racing community. But that did mean we've just lost 10 seconds to second place. Uh, on Radical, get to the end. We've got this, you and me. About nine minutes of racing left, so more or less nine laps. And 6.9 laps of fuel, so we need to stretch that fuel out as much as we can. Without giving up our position to, uh, to button bashers. Yeah, we should have pitted. What do you think? Should I have pitted? Let me know in the comments. Of course, we have to pit anyway. We'll uh, wait and see. How much fuel have we used in this lap? We'll have to work that out when we get to the end of the lap. Oh, but I don't want to stay there. It's all good. Here comes the end of the lap. We're going to have to work out what's happening fuel-wise. It was 6.9. Now 6.2, so about 0 0.7 per lap. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight. This could be... I know they're 20 seconds behind me at the moment in second, but this could be a very close finish. Not necessarily with me on the top step of that podium. Okay, five minutes to go. Uh, I'm, I'm tired from this terrible heat wave we've got at the moment. I'm thirsty from all the talking. I think I may have just saved enough fuel. I don't think I can come out of this fuel mode, but I do think I've saved enough fuel. Uh, about five laps to go, 4.1 laps of fuel remaining. I think if I carry on the fuel saving, we might be able to get to the end. Meanwhile, second and third place are taking time out of it like crazy. Our saving grace, the David Wilson car and Button Bash's cars are actually battling and they keep swapping positions which is slowing them both down uh, and it's giving us a chance to pull away a little bit. Get the revs as low as I can. Here we go. Such a very dull circuit and the lights aren't on. Such a pity. Oh well. We've just pulled away brilliantly from second and third place there, so I think their battling is going to be what is going to help us to win this home in the best position possible. Uh, 3.6 laps of fuel remaining, just under four minutes of racing. It is going to be tight. I've got a car up ahead. Don't think we're going to catch it in this fuel mode. We shall see. Yeah, so second place has gone from 8 seconds behind to about 11 seconds behind. That's not because of my pace. I think the David Wilson car not quite as good through the S's as the Button Bashers car. And that's going to help me out a lot. I should really save that fuel. Really aggressively save it. Even if it means sacrifice of time, I've got to really, really make sure we're using as little as possible. I'm totally off the throttle right now. 
we're going to come back on the throttle for the S, as you can see the, uh, the fuel warning blinking there. The one stop was always going to be very, uh, very dangerous strategy. It was based on the fact that it could rain. We had absolutely no sign of rain whatsoever. The weather radar has been clear for the entire race. This radical here. This uh, this is the Team Kevman car. Excuse me, Kev. Sorry, sorry. Oh, look at the time we're losing now. Second place, five seconds behind us. That means I've taken five seconds out of us in that lap. By my reckoning, that means they're going to get us. Is it the end of this lap or was the end of the straight on the next lap? Curse your aggressive fuel saving. Okay, we'll have to just go for it and hope for the best. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it now. There are blue flags. I think that's the car behind us. Because there's nobody ahead of us on the track. That's slowed down second place a little bit. And also, once again, they're fighting with button bashes, I think, so... That should help us out. Go, let's go, let's go. This is the penultimate lap, and I do have two laps of fuel. But I do perhaps love a way of defending myself. Maybe. If you're still with me in the video, thank you for watching this far. I'm going to try and make this ending as uh, dramatic as possible. Not intentionally, but it's going to happen, because here they come, second and third place bearing down on us. I would like the race to end on this lap, but if I slow down enough to make that happen, I'm going to get past. So, I'm going to just keep plugging along. We'll hope for the best. Take as much fuel as we can for that last lap. She's about to start, we cross the line this time. Here we go. Oh, they're fighting again. Oh, David Wilson had to pit on the last lap. Would you believe it? Oh, both of them are pitted. Nobody quite had enough fuel. For the oh, did a fuel save? They could have done it. If you look how much fuel I've got. Oh, wow. So this is this is victory lap for us then. I don't know why the sky is so dark. It shouldn't be this dark. This isn't how I've got the uh, time acceleration set up. But it's finished. It's just us. Just us and our, our victory lap. Wow. If they'd have had just a couple more litres of fuel, that would have been it. They'd have had us. Oh, slow and steady won this race. Come on, let's cross the line. Hit that checkered flag, that is our checkered flag. Thank you very much for that checkered flag. I appreciate it. Oh. Wow. If you've got any suggestions how to uh, shake up this format, or I'll just keep going on with, um, with the random upgrades, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. If there's a particular track combo you want to see, Go ahead and let me know that I'm open to do all of the tracks, all of the layouts in GT7. Here are the final results. I don't think we can go up and down, we can't. Uh, David Wilson, car came second. Let's take a screenshot of this. Uh, and these are going to be our points. I think we have some points, aren't we? We'll have points for the top 10. Maybe the top 12, who knows. So it was us, Dave Wilson, Classic Cars, then Button Bashers, Racing Rivals. I like to race Racing Rivals, Button Bashers, so those guys, fast. Then the Lone Player card did really well in 8th. Uh, my teammate in 9th. Sim League Pro in 10th. And the Dark Knight card 11th and 12th. Everybody else was just out of there. The fastest lap was held by the Team Sim League Pro, so we'll get an extra point as well. What I will do then is I will put some points up on the screen right about now. Uh, just for you. 
Have a look at those points. There you go. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, it's been it's been great to host you. I hope you'll join again next time. Thank you very much to my Discord. They are excellent. Very, very excellent. If you want to join, the link will be uh, pinned in the comments down below. Until next time, be good to yourself. Be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.